properly. So uh, let me see if you can hear me okay. Let me know if you can hear me all right. Um, today, we're going to have an interesting conversation, and we're going to talk about Apple's new product. Apple has a new high-yield savings account, and uh, this high-yield savings account is pretty interesting, and I'm going to go through some of this with you. And also, if you stick around to the end of the show, I will give you a stock that I just purchased that I believe is going to do very well in the near future. So get comfortable, buck up your seatbelt. We're going to get started on the Black Financial Channel right now. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Black Financial Channel. That's theblackfinancialchannel.com. My name is Dr. Boyce Watkins. I am your friendly neighborhood finance professor. On the Black Financial Channel, we talk about black wealth and black economics every single day, sometimes as much as 10 times a day under the B1 condition. B1 means we are black first. Black first means we put our community at the top of our priority list. Black first means we educate our kids. Black first means we break generational curses. And uh, that's what we do up in this space. So if you agree with that philosophy, put a B1 in the chat. Also, shout out the name of your business. If you have a business that is black owned, shout out the name of your business in the chat so everybody knows. Shout out what city you're from. And, uh, and in fact, actually, if you want to even promote your business on this platform, just go to drboysfinance.com. That's drboysfinance.com. And uh, you support us. We'll support you. Uh, it's, it's efficiently priced. And uh, we would love to support your business. Shout it out. Send some people your way. Uh, you help us support this independent black owned platform. All right, guys. Uh, so here's where we're going with this. Uh, I want to talk to you guys really quickly about Apple. Apple has a new high yield savings account. I don't know if any of you heard about this, but it comes with, uh, I guess, the Apple card and stuff like that. And I don't know if any of you heard about this, but I'm going to tell you about the Apple uh, high yield savings account. I'm going to give you a little bit of a briefing on what's going on in the economy and the markets right now that you may want to know about. And then also, if you stick around to the end, I will mention a stock that I just bought that I believe is going to be a butte. I believe this stock is going to make, make a ton of money over the next year. Uh, so uh, hang out and I will give you that stock at the end of this conversation. So hit the thumbs up button, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Hit the notification bell and the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you supply, subscribe to the platform. So it says here um, that starting today, Apple Card users can choose to grow their daily cash rewards with a savings account from Goldman Sachs, which offers a high yield APY of 4.15%. That's 10 times more than the national average. Whoa! With no fees, no minimum deposits, no minimum balance requirements, users can, can easily set up and manage their savings account directly from their Apple Card wallet. Savings helps our users to get even more value out of their favorite Apple Card benefit, daily cash, while providing them with an easy way to save money every day, says Jennifer Bailey, Apple's vice president and person pretty much going to say good things about Apple. I think that's cool. I think that's really awesome. He said, once a savings account is set up, all future daily cash earned by the user will be automatically deposited into your account. The daily cash destination can also be changed at any time, but there's no limit to how much daily cash users users can earn. So you can put any amount. Uh, it, it, it all goes right into your account. Users will have easy access to an easy to use savings dashboard in the wallet where they can conveniently track their account balance and interest earned over time. Users can also withdraw funds uh, at any time through the savings dashboard by transferring them to a linked account with Apple Cash card, no fees, blah, 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 blah. How many of y'all think that's a good deal? Give me a yes or no. How many of you are interested in uh, letting Apple be one of your banks, if not the, the bank for you? How many of you would like Apple, uh, this tr three tr two tr $3 trillion behemoth? Let me see, what's, what's Apple's market cap? Hit the thumbs up button while I look this up. Apple market cap right now. What is Apple? Apple is a $2.6 trillion bank. They're not just a, a, they're not just a cell phone maker anymore. <laughs> They're not just a tech company. Apple is now a bank with $2.6 trillion in assets. I, I think that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. And, uh, and and the interesting thing about this is that, so so it's fascinating. So they're partnering with Goldman Sachs. And Goldman Sachs has been trying to get into consumer banking for a while. I have been a shareholder in Goldman Sachs for a while. I don't know how the stock's been doing over the past year or so. I know they've had some issues. I'm a long-term holder, so uh, I, don't, I don't particularly pay like day-to-day -day attention to every single stock I own because I own stock in hundreds of companies. But uh, I believe Goldman Sachs stock uh, right now, let me see, how did that stock been doing? It went up a little bit today. Uh, let's see. In the last year, it's gone up by about three percent. Yeah. The last five years has gone up thirty-four percent. So it's not been a terrible investment. Uh, I think that's pretty good, right? Um, and and what's happened is that because the Federal Reserve has increased uh, interest rates, 
you're starting to see banks paying more and more money. And let me let me just tell you this. I wouldn't be surprised if other banks if, if well, see, I say other banks because it sounds like I'm calling Apple a bank now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the banking industry is like, holy crap, like what the hell, man? Apple, do you have to have everybody's money uh, because they already are in your pocket? How many of you give me a yes or no? How many of you own an iPhone? How many of you have an iPhone in your pocket right now? Like, so, so I bet you that m the majority of you already have Apple in your pocket. You maybe even have Apple Wallet. You know, I use Apple Wallet because it makes it easy to pay for things. Now they've got the ability to do all your banking in a way that's integrated with the entire Apple ecosystem. Steve Jobs is jumping up and down in his grave right now because this is absolutely brilliant. I think it's going to be amazing. I think they're going to do extremely well. It's And the, and the rate is good, 4.15%. I mean, you look at what the market's been doing lately. The stock market's been kind of doing this up and down. I don't blame you if you went for uh, the, the simple money, right? Uh, because interest rates are going up. That's a benefit to you in a certain way. The other interesting thing is that banks are already having a problem, especially regional banks, because they're not they're not sort of capitalized in a way where they can't sustain a run on the bank. I believe Apple is the kind of bank that can sustain a run on the bank and still be fine because they're selling iPhones out the back. You know, they're going to go into virtual reality soon. Apple's probably going to do the lead on technology for some self-driving car that they've already created that nobody knows about. Apple is just that company that is full of surprises. Um, I th personally think this is not the biggest surprise from Apple this year. I think Apple's going to come out with more stuff that's going to blow your mind. I'm looking to see what they do with this metaverse, what they do with AI, and how they blend all this, right? They're going to do metaverse better than Facebook. I'm a shareholder in Facebook and in Apple, but I believe Apple is going to, because they have an issue with Mark Zuckerberg. Remember, they screwed Zuckerberg, by the way. If you don't recall, Zuckerberg got really angry and put out ads in the New York Times fighting against Apple because he felt like they were undermining his ability on Facebook to track your um, activity on your phone so that they could advertise to you better. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but Apple and Zuckerberg and Facebook already, ha already have a contentious relationship. I wonder if they're just going to go into the metaverse space and just kick Facebook in the testicles. I really think Apple just has some stuff up its sleeve. Uh, this uh, high yield savings account looks great to me. Uh, I think it's worth taking a peek at it, comparing it to your bank, seeing if your bank is doing the same thing, if your bank can't match. And remember, that there's a convenience factor here that's that's really, really important. But don't forget, though, never put all your money in one place. That's one of the most important rules we talk about here on this platform that we talk about in the Black Business School is you got to diversify. You don't want to have all your money in one place. So, so don't ever trust any entity so much that you put everything on that one entity. OK, got it. Does that make sense? Everybody good? Everybody good? OK, so all right. So that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about i'm going to actually tell you guys about a stock that i'm buying right now that i bought this morning that i think is going to do really well and, and make a ton of money over the next year uh but actually before i do that do me a favor hit the thumbs up button thumbs up thumbs up share subscribe uh very quick housekeeping uh i'm going to be in houston on april 21st so if you'd like to join us in houston for black wealth boot camp i'll be there for two days and that's the last time i'm not traveling much anymore my parents are getting older my kids need me at home uh, somebody asked when's the next time I'll be in London. I have no idea because uh, I got family stuff to deal with. So Houston might be my last stop for a while. Uh, so if you'd like to join us, just go to voicewalkins.com. I also have a new book out. It's a bestseller on Amazon. It's called The Ten Commandments of Black Economic Power. Feel free to go grab a copy of that. Uh, it's doing extremely well. You guys love it. The reviews are extremely good. And it's a, a black wealth manual, a training manual that's very simple that will allow us to pass up white Asian Jewish, everybody else, we will pass up every other community when it comes to wealth if you apply these principles. Trust me, my PhD is in finance. I know what I'm talking about. So the book is right there on Amazon. It's called The Ten Commandments of Black Economic Power. So let me give you the stock of the day, the stock that I like, the stock that I'm gonna that I just bought. I literally bought it right before I got on with you guys. And it's Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines. So here's what I did. I bought a bunch of shares in Delta. I also bought some long-term call options on Delta because I believe that Delta is underpriced right now. I believe that when the economy starts to soar, Delta is going to soar too. And uh, maybe I'm a little biased because I'm, I'm actually getting my pilot's license right now. I'll be doing my solo pretty soon. So I'll let you guys know when I'm actually flying. I'm landing airplanes now, literally. I'm not kidding you. I'm landing and doing the takeoffs and all this stuff. And I was on with my flight instructor for two hours yesterday. I am like a pilot now, y'all, for real. Uh, so, so, uh, but, but generally speaking though, uh, uh, Delta Airlines is a stock that I think is going to do well. Uh, no guarantees. This is not in 
investing advice. This is just me sharing with you what I'm going to do. Now, if you'd like to see some other stocks that I like or other ways to invest or other ways to build money for your family, my website, boycewatkins.com, has a ton of resources. A lot of them are free. And also, we have resources for your kids. It's really important that whatever you're learning, you're teaching that to your kids. Get your kids ahead of the curve now. Get them ready now because in 15, 20 years, they're going to enter that battle of economic warfare and you want them to win. Kids win because their parents position them to win. Just like Donald Trump's kids are going to win because his daddy positioned them to be millionaires by the time they were 25. His daddy positioned him to be a millionaire by the time he was 25. I want you to position your kids to be millionaires by the time they're 25. The $5 a day investment plan will do it. Financial literacy will do it. And planning ahead will do it. Got it? Give me a yes in the chat if, 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 you, um, if you agree with me, if you understand where I'm coming from, and uh, we're going to go out here and kick some butt and take some names. Give me a yes in the chat if you're ready to go. All right, guys, I got to go. I got a meeting. I love y'all. It's good to talk to you. Somebody said, did I say covered calls? No, I did not sell covered calls. I bought calls. I bought calls. that They're not covered. They're just standard call options long-term call options uh, in what they call the stock replication strategy. If you want to learn more about options, I do have a stock options masterclass. Again, that's also on voicewalkins.com. So feel free to visit my website to learn all this stuff. But generally, Delta Airlines, that's my stock for today. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Thank you so much for listening. And I love you very much. Talk to you guys later. Peace.